Hi, welcome back. This is Lily from sleepplate.com. Today we're going to talk about your old CPAP machine. What to do with it? What do I do with this machine? Do I throw it away? Do I give it away? Well, first of all, let's find out what happened. So, did you use the machine? Or was it that you couldn't use it, you couldn't get used to it? Give it a chance. You will feel so good if you use this equipment. Sometimes it's not even the machine. Sometimes it has to do with the mask. Maybe the mask that you were fitted with was not comfortable. Maybe you're claustrophobic and they gave you a full face mask. Hey, you can use a nasal one. There are so many alternatives. Don't get rid of it right away. You're going to always have sleep apnea if it's obstructive, right? Most people have obstructive sleep apnea, which means that there's something that's obstructing the air coming in. It's usually up here. Here. It could be a deviated septum, or your tongue too thick, or your uvula too long, or simply that the muscles in your throat relax too much. Or it could be central, which is, has to do with the signal that your brain sends to the phrenic nerve to move the diaphragm. Anyways, whatever the reason is, don't give up just yet. Go back to your provider or go back to your doctor and let them know your concerns or the issues that you're having while you're not using your machine. And don't get rid of it, okay? Chances are you're going to need it later on. Now, if you just got a new machine and you just have this old machine, two things. Most of the time, the new machines have better features, okay? Like you're able to see events and things like that. It depends how old your machine is. Regardless, you don't know if it's working properly or not. You might want to have a check. You can also donate it. That's a good option. But please don't give it to a person that needs a machine unless they've had a sleep study done. Remember, they're not interchangeable. These machines are set specifically for you. You did a sleep study and they were able to see what pressure took care of your apneas. So your pressure might not be your cousin's pressure or your wife's pressure. She might need something else. Her obstruction might be someplace else. So you need to have that sleep study. It's not something that you could just pass on to somebody to put on, okay? It's fitted and it's set just for you depending on your apnea issues, okay? Regardless, whatever your reason is, make sure that you can either donate it if you don't want it anymore and it's a brand new machine or it's in good condition and you can also have it as a backup, right? Make sure that if you have it as a backup, it's set up with the new pressures that your doctor prescribed when you receive the new equipment. Anyways, I hope this helps you understand what you should do with your old CPAP machine. By the way, my name is Lily once again. I'm here, a respiratory therapist at sleepplay.com. Take care, we'll see you soon.